Today's video is the first of two in my Dreadlock Decisions series. In this video, I'm going to be discussing five reasons you should not get dreads. Don't get me wrong, I love mine, I really do. But I don't believe that they are for everyone. So let's make a deal. If I can't convince you by the end of this video to not get dreads, then get dreads. Let's begin. Welcome back to the Atreya Lag channel. I hope everyone is doing well. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, make yourself comfortable and know that I'm glad to have you. As usual, if you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more lock content from me. And if you're already subscribed, definitely hit the notification bell so that you are made aware of every single time I upload as soon as I do. So today my goal is going to be to try to convince you not to get locks. Yeah, I said it. Not because I don't want you to experience the greatness that is all of this wonderfulness, but because locks are not for the faint of heart. And I want you to be sure that locks are for you. To help you make this decision, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should not get dreads. If these reasons don't deter you, then you pass, and you should enter the lock journey expeditiously and proudly. The first reason that you should not get dreads is if you are someone who worries about what others think about you. Having locks is going to draw a lot of attention. Unfortunately, a lot of that attention will be negative. So if you care a lot about what other people say and think about you, and you're a people pleaser, then dreads are not for you. The second reason you should not get dreads is if you hate frizz. Frizz is an inevitable, inseparable part of the lock journey. If you have dreads, you're gonna have frizz. So if you hate frizz, if you can't deal with frizz, then locks are not for you. The third reason that you should not get dreads is if you are impatient and if you are someone who needs, who longs for instant gratification. So if you can't wait for good things to happen if you need them right away then locks are not for you then you should not get dreadlocks because it's going to take time for your hair to actually turn into locks they go through all these sort of processes the budding phase the shrinkage phase the maturation phase and it's going to take a lot of patience and a willingness to not receive instant gratification to be able to endure all that to have a strong enough mind to commit to it even though you're not getting immediate results. So if you're impatient and you need instant gratification, then dreads are not for you. The fourth reason to not get dreads is if you are entering a profession where having dreadlocks definitely could inhibit or impede your ability to climb the professional ladder, okay? So you need to have a little bit of foresight. If you're entering a profession where people don't accept dreadlocks, and it's going to stifle your progress in terms of your career goals, then you shouldn't get dreads. And simply, the fifth reason you should not get dreads is if you struggle with commitment. Having dreadlocks is definitely a commitment. It's a very long commitment. I mean, quite honestly, it could be as long or short as you want, right? But if you really want to experience long locks, that's several years worth of commitment. So if you've never committed to anything or anyone in your life, then yeah, dreads are not for you because they are a commitment and they will be your responsibility. All right guys, so this was just a short little video, hopefully helping you to figure out if locks are for you. So, did you pass? Are locks for you or not? Be sure to let me know in the comment section and don't worry if you failed, there's hope. In next week's video, part two of the Dreadlock Decision series, I am going to be discussing five reasons why you should get dreads. I will be trying to convince you why you should get dreads. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you choose to love, do so unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. This is Atreya Locks and I will see you in the next video. By the way, if you like this hat, because I know a lot of you like my tams and my hats and stuff. I do have my Atreyu crochet video where I show you how to make this. So yeah, if you are interested in this, you like this, then check out my other channel. All right, I will see you next time. Peace.